I'm Zoe Gudovic. I'm from Belgrade. Basically, I always say that I'm from Yugoslavia, but somehow Finnish in Serbia. And I am 45 years old. And now recently, from October 2021, I move and live in Vienna. <laughs> Everywhere they react, uh, first of all, uh, they're curious what will happen in the toilet, yeah? So <laughs> a lot of them have a fear, ooh, we will come to the toilet, maybe we will feel the smell of somebody, you know, that it's not me because I, I smell perfectly. <laughs> so, so everybody, and I transform also the smell of the space, like you figure out. My favorite smell is lavanda, so I always like put a lot of, you know, spirit of this beautiful lavanda. Uh, they, they identify like something that it's common space, so they are curious. Second, I always work on the topic what uh, bother me. Uh, I work on the issue of dissociation. I have a dissociation or isolation, or I also have an um, uh, installation when I invite the music bands because I, I really like, I live for the music and for the theater. And uh, then I have in Munich, for example, in Klochhuisen, I have a, uh, <laughs> bands, I have, a, I have a concerts in the toilet. So I invite local bands from Munich to play in my toilet. So then they are like, like what, <laughs> we will play in the toilet? I say if you want, and they, they come, and amazing concerts we have in the toilet in Munich. So I always like, uh, like to, to um, see a reaction when people like face with the topic, what interesting. But I must tell you like, that it's also people identify on the topics. So they are curious. For example, when I work dissociation, you can't believe how many people have a dissociation. And we don't talk about this, you know? Like it's not part of the agenda of the mental um, dealing with ourselves, but it's then it's true. And third, you know, they also uh, appreciate and people tell me, thank you that you like artists spend time with us so this is also this live conversation and communication bring the level of creation so we together create something that i actually think that it's necessary especially in this time when we have a social distance misunderstanding lot of you know like disconnection with communication and I always think that communication is the key for everything. First of all, people tell me, like Zoe, uh, just you need to know in Vienna, people uh, not tell so personal stuff. I was like, <laughs> which kind of stuff they tell me, like what they read this morning in the social networks. And I was like, okay, I will try. And then, trust me, all of the person who pass, this is the second day, tell personal stories. Maybe I have a, this kind of like, maybe <laughs> who watch, maybe engage me to be like toilet psychotherapist. <laughs> we never know. Sometimes it's good process, but for mostly are really hard. Hard because a lot of people find um, disconnect with the larger group of the people or that you know a lot of disease come in the period that they are don't know like um, show up you know of stress cancer or or depression or the idea to suicide you know like a lot of a lot of um, stuff that we are pressed down and we don't want to talk so in 15 minutes believe it or not People say a lot of different stuff, but I appreciate and I respect. And I think uh, that actually this kind of space provide also this kind of like testimonies. Because sometimes like people sit here and they say, you know, I come so, so nervous. I was like, I won't look. And immediately when I come to your living space, living space means toilet in brut. Vienna theater, public toilet, I feel relief. 
I feel relaxed. I actually don't want to leave. <laughs> this is it. I am, but you have 15 minutes. <laughs> but you know, like I think that this is something that um, all of us have a need to communicate. This is what, why for me this kind of work it's always important because bring us to level how we are alone and how the need to somebody hear us sometimes uh, it's necessary. I tried to after the, the um, hours that I spend here and sometimes I spend seven, eight hours in the toilet talking with the people, uh, I like to be alone. You, and I I like to like um, process. Kako se kaže? The process. Yeah. Process. Um, my experience before are build me to these stories I can uh, handle. Because uh, coming from from uh, um, feminist movement, when twenty years I was you know in the first line fighting and also dealing with something call uh, and especially dealing with the issue of violence against women bring you to the the level to you actually figure out how you need to listen to person and to a little bit protect yourself you know in the sense of uh, okay this will of course every story touch you but how you actually you know like are here to hear to, to listen and you know like but we met in Sarajevo I work uh, with the women uh, from Bosnia and Herzegovina who are from Potocari and Srebrenica and I prepare them for the women court what was happened 2015 and listen the women who lost everything and they lost the bodies their own bodies uh, because of the mostly aggression of from Serbia side and um, so in that moment uh, I I say to myself I will survive everything because these women survive if these women survive but they survive I I, I, I will be present for whoever it's need but mechanism to to protect exist you learn in the movement you learn like women how to protect psychologically physically this, this is this is what you need to learn in patriarchal society but it's really violent you know all the, all these mechanisms are necessary so i find a way to actually tell you like be after alone and also when I come uh, in my room, I hug my cat. I like, I never talk after this with people, but then I have uh, my therapist and uh, every week I talk with my therapist. It's not some kind of supervision, but it's much more to protect my mental level, you know, like, so I seriously take this like it's not just like yeah i will be okay i'm not okay if you listen this story but i find a way to uh put out uh, all this kind of stuff but it's also in one moment you don't hear only hard story in every conversation you also see the beauty of the person so i also catch in your beauty you know it's something that you are alive you survive you you fight, you you have a motivation, you know, like inside it's so a lot of shit, you know, like what society and, and but it's so much beauty who you are. So for me, this is something that keep me. I was really engaged a lot in, uh, in the movement, mostly feminist and LGBT plus movement and artistic also. And in all of this, uh, field, I'm very loud person <laughs> and I always um, say the truth how I live from which perspective I come and for me it is in one moment was really hard because I take a lot of um, you know this kind of political 
uh, speeches, I always say that I'm a political performer. And in the time when we have a lot of violence, 2016, and it start uh, uh, like um, Vucic government to really push a lot, um, uh, uh, ruin the town and devastate the, all the politics. But it's also devastated before, to be honest, in Serbia. I take uh, the part of the of the big protest what was happening in the street organized by Nedarimo Beograd and I was the only woman. I start to talk in the huge in front of huge audience mostly about militarization, about uh, clericalization of society and actually of all this oppression, but also from perspective of the women and I then say, you know, people need to figure out that when we fight for the town, when we fight for the country, if we not deal with the violence, what it's happened with the women, then we don't fight. <laughs> for me, this is not a fight. This is just paravan for everything. So my country, it's the women country, but it's never, you know, be respected. And then I start a lot of threaten from the fascists, you know, because they find me that I'm so visible and how I look and especially that I always publicly say that I'm lesbian and then my family start to suffer because of this my mother asked me please oh, you know it, it's possible to you not be in the center of everything um, and my mother live really in the suburb like in ghetto I come from working family and for example, really like her fascists put a lot of like graffiti in front of her door, she live alone. And they took the shit, you know, like Govna. Yeah, I just uh, start to be following by fascists. And it's also <laughs> interesting, you know, my friends who a little bit look like, you know, punkish or something, have a similar hair. They start to be threatened. They think they, they are like, how you say this when you copy million clone you know clone clone I don't know how you say clone clone and every of my friends are suffer they say are you Zoya are you Zoya are you Zoya you know they following them so my friend from here from Vienna she follow my work a lot and she says Zoya we need to pick you and to to bring you and Vienna wants you and I say who wants me in Vienna how you want me in Vienna yeah, I think that in this moment I'm in the place where I at least um, go uh, in the street and not all the time watch who following me. And all this like uh, life, imagine that every day you have a every day in the street or in the sh shop, every day somebody say to you, Les Bacho. But it's lesbian but not in the good way. So I think that I build a lot of, you know, uh, resistance to accept this, but I also now feel a lot of relief that I walk in one city that it's this kind of stuff, you know, <laughs> you hear you, you fight with the pronouns and everything like this, not fucking lesbians, you know, here it's so many diversity identity that I still confuse. But in the sense uh, who I am, from which kind of background I, I come and what is the threat and to me like uh, like lesbian, I was like, maybe Vienna really, it's a nice place for me. So I come here and, um, and I, I, really, I must admit that you are really privileged in this country and in, especially in this city. And first of all, you drink really, really good water. I come from the country where you now, in this moment, we fight for the water, basic human rights, water and air. So when people ask me what you like here, of course that I still not know very well system and I hope that I will, you know, not so be um, in this involved, but to basic human rights, what I taste, you know, it's something that you at least uh, have air and water. To be honest, I was <laughs> dreaming this uh, this uh, uh, year to join here in Vienna the drum session 
because in uh, Serbia maybe you know maybe not you not know like uh, nine years ago I was the only drummer in the street and then during the period I figured out I need a bunch of women to join me so now it's 12 women uh, who play the drums in, in Belgrade in Serbia but we also was in Sarajevo or where we need to go and um, I don't know, I would like to find, I, I uh, search and I find this, uh, some collective from Latin America and I really like uh, how they also, I like the feminists from Latin America, for me they have a really amazing power and they, 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 they pass and they, they, they are faced with shit, you know, all what we, whole world, but they so strongly fight with to write for abortion, early marriages, violence, femicide, you know. So I really like this energy and this power. So, but it's in the time when I have this uh, installation, so I'm not sure how, how will I manage. For sure I will go to walk, this is for me important. And my also heart is in, in Belgrade, because it will be also demo in the Belgrade, and this will be my first year that I am not there. So actually, I uh, I always um, I for me it's very important to be not forget why this day it's important and why the eighth of March we need to face still with the reality of exploitation and why it's need to dedicate to the um, uh, transformation of economy power because. This is the the the, uh, the reason why the women, you know, hundred eleven uh, years ago, you know, say ah no more to to exploitation of uh, our work, our body, our health, our you know uh, like uh, reproductive stuff. Basta. I think it's a lot of stuff connect uh, in this moment, particularly in the so so crazy capitalism that eat us it's important to we address all this issue in the way hey no my body it's my body uh, my salary it's my salary my health it's my my roof i have a right for the for for the roof i'm i'm angry because in 21st century we again and again and again fight just for the dignity